to another edition of Talking Models. Today we're going to do a little painting tutorial on this Aurora Monster Plaque. Sculpted and produced by John Harding out of England. Don't be fooled by the recast. Buy directly from John. I'm going to talk a little bit today what I did to bring this one to life and hopefully inspire you to grab one of these and paint one of these. So let's talk about what I did. As you can see, it's simply a beautiful plaque depicting the monsters from the Aurora. The Aurora logo is on it, and awesome. Well, you ready? Strap in. Here we go. I primed the kit with Stylerez Black and base coated it with Freak Flex Body Bag Black. As I looked at it, I decided to start with the Aurora logo and then work from there. So I used Freak Flex Bewitch Blue for the outer ring of the logo. Now for the inside I decided to use uh, Freak Flex Cat's Eye Yellow and I simply airbrushed the background of the logo. Now for the uh, letters itself I used Freak Flex Sunburn Red and simply just hand painted the letters in and that way it kind of sticks with the original colors of the Aurora logo. Then I decided to move on to the dirt that surrounds the figures. So I pulled out some Freak Flex Mummified Brown and I simply uh, sprayed the area and got it all nice and uh, even coat on there. The Freak Flex gives you a nice bite for the base coat. It's designed to be the base color and then you can build your colors upon that. Now the tombstones, uh, I decided just to base coat that with some Freak Flex Gravestone Gray. Imagine that, gravestone gray for tombstones. Hmm. So from there, I thought, you know, let's move on to the Monster Models Kit lettering. I decided to use the colors from the box art for the Wolfman, the Mummy, and Frankenstein. So with that said, I simply started, uh, used some Freak Flex Got Ill Green, Freak Flex uh, Top Sea Orange, and Freak Flex Arterial Blue. Those were the colors that I used for the lettering, plus sticking with the uh, coloring they used on the uh, box art for the model kits. So, I decided now it was time to start building some colors up on the dirt. So I hit the areas of the dirt with Rotten Tooth Tan from the Freak Flex line, and then I came in to start uh, building up some uh, Deep in the Shadows, build it up if you will, so I pulled out some uh, Garage US Trans Dark Brown and I simply started uh, punching in the shadows on the dirt areas. Once I had that done, it was time to move to the monsters. Up first was Frankenstein. I base coated him with uh, Freak Flex Frankenflesh. Hmm. So once I had that done, I started to uh, deepen the green with uh, Rojo's Olive Flesh from the um, a lot of paints and I just simply started deepening in the scar areas with some trans rich brown from Graduous Colors just to kind of give a different greenish and start deepening that uh, scar areas if you remember from uh, the burnt areas on his face. Now for the shirt and coat I used the uh, Freak Flex Near Black and simply punched in the areas of the shirt with that to give it that grayish look that you commonly see when people paint them up and Mummified Brown from the Freak Flex line was used to shade the jacket. I came back in and highlighted the face with uh, some more punching in uh, a little closer with the airbrush with the Frankenflesh. And at that point I was uh, looking at the um, tombstones and I decided to highlight the skulls on the tombstones with Freak Flex Turn Ghost White. And then I went back over to Frankenstein and I decided to paint in the eyes. So I brought out my trusty Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan and simply painted in the eye area. And I pulled out some of that Freak Flex Potty Bake Black and simply painted in the pupils. And believe it or not, Frankenstein was done. So going from Frankenstein to the left, I decided to move on to the creature from the Black Lagoon. That was base coated using uh, Garage US Dark Olive 
I want it to kind of, that's how I like to build up the creatures. I start with dark and I work to light. I came in then because I noticed on the Frankenstein that I had uh, missed the bolts and the plates on his head. Yikes. So I pulled out some Freak Flex Silver Bullet and I simply uh, dry brushed those in on the two areas. And then I looked again at the tombstones. I wanted to kind of give it a like a like it was starting to mold a little bit on there, if you will, or have some uh, brown spots. So Freak Flex Rotten Tooth Tan was used, and I added more coloring depth on the tombstones. Now back to the creature. I shot the lower area of the mouth with Garage US Yellow Orch, and hit the gills with Freak Flex Autopsy Orange. I was starting to get my coloring in now at this point. For the mouth area, I pulled out some Freak Flex Sunburn Red and Freak Flex Pink Eye Burgundy. So I hit the lip area with the Pink Eye Burgundy and shot the Sunburn Red uh, inside the mouth area. Now for the head area, I pulled out some Garage US Light Green and I simply started uh, shooting some areas of the head. And at that point, I brought out some uh, Freak Flex Got Ill Green and kind of started hitting in the body area. Of course, then I pulled out some transparent black and started punching in the shadows on the body. So you get that separation of the green and some black for the crevices. Body baked black, I used around the eye area to give it that uh, black look that you've seen um, in the film. It just, you could tell there was a difference. And I also used that on the uh, pupil of the eye. For the eye color, I simply pulled out some Freak Flex Got Ill Green, painted that in, and it was a process of going back with the uh, light green um, and just kind of highlighting, repunching in with the uh, transparent black. And before I knew it, the creature was done. Now, on to Dracula. I painted the hair, eyebrows, and clothes with the Freak Flex Body Bag Black. And then I base coated the face with Freak Flex Rose Flesh. And I, at that point, I brought in some of the uh, Garage US Trans Mars Red. And I added some uh, color to the cheeks and lips with that transparent Mars Red. So then it was time to start uh, building up the face area with the fleshes. And I pulled out some Freak Flex Pale Flesh. And I simply just started uh, punching in the highlights, cheeks, nose, forehead different areas just to uh, build some colors over the rose flesh. And at that point I decided to uh, take care of the shirt so I pulled out some Freak Flex Banji Shadow Gray and sprayed the shirt with that color. And I liked it because it gave me a white look without being too stark. That Banshee Shadow Gray fit the bill nicely. Now the eyes and teeth were done using uh, my favorite Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan and then I brought in uh, pupils and uh, decided to make that circle in for the eye. And then I hit the tie area too using that uh, body bait black. For the eyes I chose to go with blue and one of my favorite colors from the Freak Flex line is a Fixia Blue. And I decided just to uh, make the eye color blue. And then of course back with the body bait black for the pupil in the center. I then decided to go back and highlight the forehead and cheek area using Garage US Trans Mars Red. And it was just again a process of going back with my colors and just giving it that uh, dead but bloody look like maybe he just ate and he was flushed with fresh blood. And believe it or not, Dracula was done. On to the mummy. For the clothes, uh, they were base coated with Freak Flex Rotten Tooth Tan. And then I dirtied up the uh, bandages with some transparent raw umber. Then I came back in and highlighted the bandages with Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan. Now for the face area on the mummy, I brought out some Freak Flex Cursed Earth and just kind of sprayed that on the face area just to give it that uh, dirty look and bandage look and old look. Then of course you want to shade that so I came in with some Graduous Transparent Rich Brown and transparent burnt sienna from the Garage US colors. And I simply started uh, shading the different colors in the face, around the eyes, cheekbones, and then it was basically uh, 
coming back in with the cursed earth and again that backing forth process. You know what I mean when you're painting. You got to go back and forth until your eye sees what you were thinking. Speaking of eyes, on the mummy I uh, base coated that with some Freak Flex bleach bone tan and then I pulled out some Garage US Trans Mars Red for the areas on the face and the eyes. And then I decided uh, to move on to finish up that eye, so I painted in the eye with some Freak Flex Body Bake Black and chose the uh, Freak Flex Poisonous Plague Yellow for the eye color. Of course, then you just uh, bring in the pupil with some black, and before you know it, the mummy was done. On to, last but not least, one of my favorite Universal Monsters, the Wolfman. That was base coated uh, with some Garage US, Art, I'm sorry, it was Freak Flex Arterial Blue. I sprayed that on the uh, shirt area, and the fur and the face were sprayed with Garage US Trans Dark Brown. So then I decided to just come in and highlight the face area with some Freak Flex Suntan Flesh. And once, you know, you go back and forth, you pull a little transparent black, kind of calm things down. And I decided just to start punching in shadows on the shirt with that transparent black. And then coming back in and you highlight it with your color, which in my case was the arterial blue. Now the fur was dry brush using Delta Cream Coat Dark Brown. And then I simply come in with some of the Garage US Trans Mars Red for the mouth and eye area, just to kind of give it that distress look, if you will. And then, of course, I bring out the uh, transparent black to quiet everything down. And again, back and forth on that process until you get it right. Now, for his uh, inside of the mouth and lips, I used uh, Freak Flex Pink Eye Burgundy, simply sprayed in the mouth and lip area. And then, of course, uh, at that point, I brought out my Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan and hit the teeth and the eyes. Then I come in back in with my transparent Mars Red under the eyes just to deepen that distress look. And of course, Body Bag Black was used for the pupils and the nose at that point. I simply just uh, airbrushed a little on the nose to give that snout the black look. And just uh, with a steady hand, you circle in your, your eye. Then for the eyes, I wanted to give the Wolfman a green look, so I pulled out some of the Freak Flex Got Ill Green. And simply uh, drew in the green, leaving a hint of the black circle. And then it was simply coming back in with the black, adding in your pupil. And believe it or not, the Wolfman was done. And as I look back at this beautiful piece, and that completed the paint-up of this, it was easy, uh, brought up memories of the old Aurora, uh, memories of why I started this hobby, the Universal Monsters. And it just was, it's a beautiful piece. And I'll be happy to hang this thing up. And probably is going to go in my studio near the uh, bench area, if you will, just to be a constant reminder why I enjoy this hobby so much. Just uh, bring them back, capturing moments of my childhood. And i got to believe you, if you're watching this, it's the same with you. You remember the old days, the good old days. Like I like to say, old school. You know, and that's, what really fuels this hobby, isn't it? So if you want one of these, reach out to John Harding. He's currently uh, doing chemotherapy uh, for um, his cancer. And this is one way you can support him. Buy one of these kits from John, not on eBay. Support him. Uh, support his uh, family during his uh, trying time for him. And add a beautiful kit to your collection. Boom. Doesn't sound no, it's not hard, is it? It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So thanks for stopping in today as we uh, went through a painting tutorial for this beautiful Aurora plaque. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you already have subscribed, thank you. Let's grow this channel and uh, let others know about this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So that's it today for Talking Models. And as always... May the Lord bless your day.